Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's definitely, it helps, you know, I remember when I was that age getting encouraged by other guys, you know, it's a big deal and it helps a lot with motivation. Uh, you know, me and Mitch definitely as seniors kind of leading the team, we're going to try to encourage the younger guys to get out there and practice and keep working at it and I definitely think there's a lot of improvements we made with our whole team and I think they got what it takes too, so. Well, you know, he's played varsity since he was a seventh grader and, uh, He's made a great progression throughout all the years. Um, as a seventh grader, he was probably, you know, our fifth or sixth player, um, and he's been probably our number one player ever since then. Probably, um, scores have come down, you know, consistently over the years, and uh, you know he's been a pretty good leader for our team. Um, you know, and he's just getting better at that too. You know, not only score-wise, but uh, trying to take into account that some of the younger kids are where he was years ago, and trying to help bring those guys along. Yeah, um, some of the tournaments in the summer, you know, are really competitive and they're great to play and get used to. Um, you know, you go out to those tournaments 300 miles away and you competition there is the best in the nation. And yardage of the courses are longer, they're harder, and then, you know, you come here and it seems a little easier and there's not as much pressure, but uh, no, it definitely helps with uh, having the experiments in the summer and, and the best competition there is in the United States and uh, definitely come in with an advantage into the high school golf season this year, just like last year too, so. You know, it is. It's kind of funny you say that because I had a guy come up to me just a little bit ago um, asking me, how come we're not seeing some of these good players, some of these good guys playing in the South Dakota, you know, amateur events, state amateur events? And I said, because they're playing basically on the national scene. You know, they're going to these, they're called AJGA events, Junior Golf Association events, and uh, playing against the best in the nation rather than just the best in the state. And a lot of the colleges are looking at that now more than they would look at the state events. But, uh, you know, that would be my answer is, yeah, they're getting great experience. The word you used, invaluable, it is, absolutely. And they're playing against some of the best players that they're ever going to see at those tournaments. So, yeah, it's great experience for them. You know, it helps me a lot with, uh, you know, the nerve, the nerves, you know, coaches watching, uh, playing, you know, just for myself and, you know, seeing everyone else around me just, just as good, if not better as me. And kids from Florida and Texas and California, and they play year-round and, you know, it's it's definitely a little easier, I wouldn't say easier, but not as nerve-wracking coming out here because I know, I mean, I have what it takes to win in the state. And, you know, I definitely want to go out and play well in the summer in those tournaments. I really know I can, and I have what it takes. And, um, no, it definitely, it's definitely an advantage, I feel like. And Mitch, too, of course, has played three or so of those tournaments this year. So he's, uh, he played well, too, this summer. So see how it goes. You know, it is nice. And it was kind of, it was kind of funny, you know, talking with Jace, uh, last year I uh, didn't get a lot of chance to talk to him over the summer months but I didn't even know really Nebraska was in the picture um, some of the other schools like Minnesota and maybe in Iowa or a Kansas or something were possibilities but but I am glad for Jace uh, he got to make the decision early and uh, you know now he doesn't have to worry about it um, you know Mitch he's been playing really well this last summer and now he's trying to make that decision too but I don't think it'll affect him uh, he's gonna go out there and try to do the best he can and that's all I ever ask of these kids Every shot, do the best you can, and, you know, everything will be okay.